So I found a reed case the other day and it had these four reeds in it, which I completely forgot I had put in there to let them dry. So they have been in the reed case untouched after an initial scraping for about two and a half months. So today I'm going to work on these and let's see if we can get any of them to work. I always think that when you let the reeds dry out, they last longer when you come back to them and you work on them and they end up being better reeds. So we will put that to the test today and see if any of these will be good. Another benefit will be, I don't remember starting these, so I have no biases towards them. I don't know if I had good feelings about the cane, bad feelings, but let's uh, soak them up and see what we think. I'll soak all of them first and then we'll give them a crow. Okay, they've been soaking. Let's give them a crow and see what we think. This one's a little open and a little hard. Okay, a little hard, but not a bad resistance. Not too open. I like that opening of this one. Let's try this one. Okay. Okay, this one's the furthest along. So I'm gonna leave this one to work on last. And I'll try to get some of these other ones to catch up to it. Okay, I'm gonna work on this one. It's a little tight. Put my plaque in. Okay, let's just see what the tip looks like. Could use a little more out of the left side. This side is thinner. Looks like I took a little too much cane right there. So we'll adjust that. You can tell, let's see if you can see it in the video. The side of the edge of the tip is a little bit higher than this one, so we'll want to even that up. The other side's okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're pretty much at finished length already. 70. And I already brought my tip line back, it looks like. I'm going to start there with the tip line. I want that to be even. So I just eyeball it, I score a line, and then I just float upwards with my knife to kind of take the cane away a little bit, but not too much. There, and it's even. Okay. Keep it wet, drying out here. All right, it's a little thick on the top left side, but since we took, we evened up the edges of the tip line, let's go ahead and crow it again. Okay, that actually allowed more vibrations in. I wanna just clean up the tip a little bit. Oftentimes I find when you let a reed rest, if you just go back in and clean up the tip, that's really all it needs, depending upon how you left it, of course. It's easier to see the thick places in the reed when the cane has had time to age and rest. And I'm noticing just some, a little bit of inconsistency in the tip. The right side is a little bit thinner right there but I don't want to make it super thin on the left side. I don't want to weaken the reed too much, so it might leave some of that. And, okay. All right, let's see what that did. A little bit goes a long ways at this stage. Okay, 
Notice I always check the peep of the reed first, this little whimper. And then I go into the crow. That just tells me if I have enough out of the tip, the tippy tip of the reed. And so that crow just told me, or that whimper, that it could be a little bit more. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. At this stage, we're really not taking a lot of cane off. We're, we're just cleaning it up. Okay, let's chart this crow again. And then at the end, I like to tongue the edge of the reed just to see what the response might be like. Okay, I'm gonna try it out here in my oboe. And just see where it's at. You know what? Not bad. Um, it's a little bit on the brighter side, so I can warm it up a little bit. Yeah, but you know, pretty good for uh, just sitting there thinking about itself for two and a half months. <laughs> All right, so what I'll do now, I mentioned I wanted to warm this up a little bit, but since this is playable, I'm going to put it away and work on the other reeds and try to get them better than this one. I like to play hopscotch. Okay, moving on to this reed. Number two on this beautiful light green thread. I used to tie all my reeds in this color because they're so pretty. Let me see. Let's see the tip a little better. Okay, let's give it a crow. I like the whimper a lot on this reed. Uh, let's measure it. You'll notice when I measure my reeds, I start at one right there. And that's because if you look at the bottom of the ruler, there's this little extra space down there. So it, gets, it just gives me a more accurate measurement. Uh, okay. Now well, we're a little bit long. I mean, this is acceptable, but it's just shy of seven. It's about 71. And I like it to be between, uh, a little closer to 70. Between 70 and 71 is okay, but I find the opening of the reed is better if it's closer to 70. If it's 71, it's going to be smaller. And oftentimes for me, my reeds just don't last as long if it's that long. Okay. All right, I don't wanna bring my tip line back anymore though because it's already 65 and a half. So let's just see where we're at. Okay, you can tell where I brought the line back before. There's a little shading. Sometimes I do that if the reed, if I feel the reed needs more vibrations, but I don't take away all the cane in front of it. I just create a new tip line. And so it has this little extra slope in, built in, which gives it more warm vibrations. But I think if I go and clean it up ever so slightly, It'll help. And I like to look backwards at the reed as well, just to see 
the gradations and the slope. Pretty smooth. All right, give it a crawl. All right, I really didn't do much to that read at all. Literally just a little bit out of the tip. So let's uh, play it. Okay, that last little test I did there with the F sharps, maybe I'll make a video on that, but that's one of my tests I do to see if the reed is in need of a clip. And if the upper note is a little flat without any effort put in when you're playing, then yes, it needs a little clip. And so this one does need just a sliver of a clip. So notice I'll just take, boop, just a little bit. I can't even see it. Just a tiny little bit. Okay, it feels a little bit tight. Okay, I'm just gonna thin the tip a little bit around the edges. Okay. Here we go. And at this point too, you're looking for places that might be holding vibrations. And I just see these little places on the sides of the heart that were just a little too high, a little too much cane. So just removed a little bit. Whoa, that freed up a lot of vibrations, maybe too many. I don't know, let's see, let's play it. Sorry, guys. Interestingly enough, um, yeah, I, I mean, I like it. It's definitely playable. I'm curious now what this one feels like. Again, this is the one we just worked on, uh, and I said I was going to make this one better than this one. I can already tell you I like the resistance in this one better. Yeah, both are nice reads. Um, this one's a little more meatier sounding, a little darker. All right, moving on, read number three. Side note, I would just like to say, it barely took me 10 minutes to adjust those two reads after they sat in my box for two and a half months. And that's why I love letting reads rest because it's easier to finish them when you come back to them. Okay. Now this one's the big boy. This one's pretty open. 
Oh yeah, you can tell when I close it. It's effortful, <laughs> let's just say that. Yeah, it's too big and it looks short. Let's measure. Just slightly over 70. Tip lines all the way back at 65, which is as far back as I'll go. And I don't tend to like to go that far, but I must have, this reed must have needed it back when I was working on it a couple months ago. Okay. I believe though, if we just work in these places that seem a little thick, it's so interesting to me. Like it's so thick right here. I left it very thick. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit. Yeah. It's like the slope just needs to be a little bit more. You wanna have a nice gradual slope. Oh, I like the tip on the other side. Okay, let's see. Hmm, interesting. It's a little big, but yet it's not as flat as I thought it was going to be. Okay, I can definitely tell it's too open because I'm getting this shrill sound quality. And honestly, I feel like that's because the tip is so thin in comparison to the slope of the heart. And I, I don't know if I feel the best about this read right now. I think structurally something's a little off with it, but we'll do this and see what happens. You can just tell, I mean, that prior to today, I worked right here and it's thinner than I'd like it to be, yet the reed is still a little hard. And that's okay. Sometimes the cane just doesn't want to be a reed. All right. Well, that opened it up a lot. Let's see, let's try it. I'm honestly not gonna wait, waste any more time on this read. I am just gonna do this. Boop. It's just not up to my quality standards. Is it terrible? No, but I, I'm very peculiar and particular. <laughs> I like things a certain way. So, all right, moving on to number four. This is the one, remember, we said was the most finished out of all of the crows. I love the color, don't you love this color? So pretty. Here, look at the shading. I just love this color, man. Okay. Ooh, okay, this is my ideal um, lengths to work with right now. We've got 71, 66. Okay, with this one, the tip just needs to respond a little bit more. Hmm. So we'll do just a little bit. I just wanna kind of dust the tip and see if that makes a difference. I honestly feel like I might need to bring the tip line back ever so slightly. I like it to be between 65 and 66. This one is right at 66, which is great. It's in the parameters, but I feel like the vibrations of the, this particular reed might need that to be a little further back. OK, 
Okay, let's see where we're at before we do that. And that's called being a linebacker, by the way. I'll show you in a minute. I don't want to bring it back too much. I think what I'm going to do is just clean up this one side. Where is it? This side. Where it just looks a little bit messy to me. Sides. I'm barely bringing the line back, just ever so slightly. Just a few more vibrations, a few more lows in the crow. All right, let's give it a play test. Ooh, it's gonna be very responsive. All right, um, I'm gonna leave it here. And for fun, let's do a play test with all three of these reads side by side. I mean, it took me maybe 15 minutes to scrape all three and finish them. So I'm telling you, try it out. Let your reads rest. You will thank yourself. The more you keep a stockpile going, the more you'll have to select from, and then you won't feel like you're scrambling to make a read.